You like to blame stuff on your zodiac sign. No, it's you, honey, it's you. What's poppin' y'all? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Naya Simone. And today we're gonna talk about how you're toxic. Yes. Um, I'm gonna give you 10 ways of knowing how you're toxic. And if you have anything on this list, that means you are. Um, this could go for, you know, friendships, relationships. It don't matter what type of relationship you have, whether that's with a boyfriend or your family or your friends. If you have anything on this list, then you're toxic. Um, this year is all about growth. It's all about experience. So what I'm going to start off with, um, like for myself, I definitely used to have a lot of these things that's on the list that I'm going to mention right now. Um, not a lot, probably had maybe like two or three. Um, and realizing that a while back, I was like, oh wow. Like realizing that now, like thinking about it, it's like, it's crazy to see how much I have changed and I have grown um, into the person I am today, which is totally fine but we're gonna go ahead and get right into the video so let's get started toxic trait number one is that you get off on someone needing you or wanting to be around you um so you know there's a lot of people that may be there and you know want to be a friend or just want to experience life with you um for these people if you take advantage of that and you know you get a little smirk you feel good because someone needs you for something just know you're you're toxic okay like you seek attention from it like you love the attention that you get from it knowing that this person is not going to leave you alone like you know even if y'all argue you will sit there and know that, know for a fact that they will come back no matter what the argument is, because you know that you have that hold over that person. So just know, if this is you, I'm sorry, but you're toxic. <laughs> oh, you're toxic. You're so toxic. Okay, number two. Um, I would say that toxic trait number two would definitely be that you would blame everybody else but yourself for your problems. Um, if your day goes wrong or, you know, you left something at the crib or the person stopped talking to you because you did something but you're blaming them because you want to find some reason to sit there and be mad at them for something that you did, you're toxic, okay? You're the problem. I'm telling you right now, you're the problem. So think about it and let's switch that up, okay? Um, you lack growth. You lack growth. You lack responsibility. You don't like to apologize when it comes to those things either that's a problem right there like you know i used to be a person that really didn't apologize and i'm not even going to blame that on my zodiac sign either like because that's another <laughs> that's another thing Ooh, you like to blame stuff on your zodiac sign no it's you honey it's you um but that's not on my list we only want to list 10 things uh, but I guess you can put that together, but um, you like to blame everything on everybody else but yourself. And as soon as you realize that, you know, you're the problem, you're the reason why, you know, your friendships are, you know, leaving you or, you know, you're doing a lot of things to make these relationships just crumble then you can actually grow for them and learn from them. And then, you know, for the next relationship that you have, whether that's with friends or a significant other, you would know 
to not do those things and bring that into the next person. Okay, so toxic trait number three, you cannot be happy for other people. Any type of happiness that you see in somebody else is like, you get envious of them because of that. Um, if somebody told you some good news about something or something positive, you always like to be negative about a situation. You always like to look at the downside of things, never look at the upside of things. Um, when it comes to your friends, you don't, you know, like to say that you're happy for them. You tend to find a way to kind of ruin um, what they have going on. So that is definitely another toxic trait. Let's get it together. Okay, toxic trait number four is you love arguing. <laughs> and I know a few people who actually like arguing. It's not cute, it's not it. If you cannot have a conversation with someone or have a disagreement without it being super crazy, then you're toxic, okay? If you get off of going back and forth on people and yelling and you know disputing with them crazy, you're toxic. Arguing is not the wave, like, it stresses you out. It gives you pimples. Like, who wants that? It's not gonna last long in whatever relationship that you have that includes family members or significant other. At the end of the day, what's going to end up happening is that person that you continuously wanna argue with is gonna end up leaving and then you're gonna be sick and then not realizing, oh, what did I, what exactly did I do? You like to argue, that's what you did. That can definitely end a lot of relationships. So toxic trait number five, that is you like to throw fits when things don't go your way. I didn't know <laughs> that we were childish like that. And you know, it's just not the wave. Like that's very immature. It's really not cute to sit here and have a tamper. Ugh. It's really not cute to sit here and have a temper tantrum because you didn't get something that you wanted. Like, go get it yourself if you don't, you can't rely on other people to get it. Like, you really gotta get things yourself. Like, do it yourself if you really want it. And on top of that, it's kind of like, who wants to sit here and deal with somebody that, you know, is always crying and whining because something didn't go their way. Like grow up i'm sorry you're toxic i'm saying this in the nicest way possible but you're toxic <laughs> okay so the next toxic trait which is number six is you like to use people's weaknesses to your advantage um for example uh knowing that somebody wants to spend quality time for, with you and you know just be around you all together and you use that to try to get something that you want. Like, if I tell you that I wanna hang out and you like, okay, well, I'll do one better. I'll come over and cook for you if you pay for my haircut or something like that, you know? Um, and it's, I don't know. It's not really a win-win situation with that because it's like, why can't you just come do something with me? Because you wanna do it and also because I wanna do it. But if you don't wanna hang out, then why not just say no? You know, like it's just weird. Um, and also, I don't know, it's just, it's not fun. It's not beneficial for anybody but you. You're selfish, you're toxic. I'm sorry, but not sorry. Um, also, another thing that can like tie into it, which is actually gonna go into number eight, is um, you don't like to keep your promises. Uh, so when I say that, I just mean that, you know, when you tell somebody that you're gonna do something and you just don't do it or you purposely not do it, um, it's just, 
I've done that to people and I know people that have done that to me and it's just not fun. It's not cool to do that to somebody. And you know that you're toxic when it comes to that, when you realize that you're doing it and you still continue to do it. So that's what makes it even worse is when you realize stuff and you still go ahead and be like, oh, I don't care, I'ma just do it anyway. Like, it's just, it's not it, it's not the wave. Okay, so I don't know if I said that was number seven or eight. I didn't mean to say eight if I did, because that definitely wasn't number eight. Um, <laughs> but the next topic trait is you like to get even. Like, if somebody sat there and was like, oh, well, they didn't say it to you, but if somebody likes to um, go out and they wanna, you know, just have a nice brunch or something. And you like, oh, I'm about to one up them or, and you about to see what I can do, blah, blah. You try to one up them and stuff. Or you like to go tit for tat um, to say like, if your man cheating on you or your friend slept with your man, so then you're gonna go sit there and sleep with their father or something like that. Things of that sort, that means you're toxic, like, throw that away. Okay, so number nine is you like to give backwards as compliments, like you like to backhand it. And what I mean by that, like, let me give you an example, is if you say, hey, I really like your shirt, but why does it do that? Or that's a really cute picture, but why is your face like that? You're toxic. You're toxic. You're toxic. You're toxic. Like, why can't you just say what you, hey, I like, and leave it at that. Don't run it back and say, but don't add a but. Just say, I like XYZ and leave it at that. Period. All right. So, the last and final trait of knowing that you're toxic, and this is for you, is for the people that think they're toxic you just want to be toxic so bad like you'll be like oh yeah well i did this and i did that or you just like really like to say that you're toxic so bad it's not necessarily that you're toxic you're just stupid like why do you want that it's like it's no clout being behind being toxic it's not cute like nobody if that's like basically like saying oh yeah i'm crazy everybody knows i'm crazy why do you think that's cute please let me know because it's not like nobody wants to sit up here and have some crazy behind girl or man and relationship that's toxic like leave people alone let them have their peace period and that's it i'm gonna wrap it up because i only wanted to come on here and do 10 toxic traits um there is like a whole list i'm sure but i really don't want to go down with it these are the ones that i thought of you know pretty quickly and that's it so let me know down below what you think your toxic trait is if you do have it or what you think that you can work on you know just let me know in the comments down below also like and subscribe to my channel and make sure y'all hit that buzzer and we're out bye y'all